All right, students, we are going to be doing some coding. We are going to use something called Pencil Code. The website is at pencilcode.net, so you will need to go there. Uh, okay, one of the first things we need to do is we need to create a new account. You don't have an account yet. I actually don't have an account, so I'm going to make an account. So I click the new account button. It says choose an account name. Real names are not allowed. Hmm. Let's find out more about that. Okay. All ages, privacy and safety are very important. Got it. Okay. Uh, posting personal identifiable information not allowed. Good. That's good for us. <clears throat> All right. So uh, you got to agree to the terms of the service. Um, be nice. Be careful. Uh, it's probably all standard stuff here. Don't sh overshare information. Okay. All right. So real names again are not allowed. I am going to just write out Miss Mister, and then I'm going to do underscore. Oh, it won't let me do underscore. I'm going to just do Mister M. Okay. And then for my password, I am just going to put mm, maybe I'll put teacher. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to tell you my password. It's never a good idea to tell somebody your password. Um, okay. So, I think I know what it is now. But I'm not telling you. Alright, I'm going to click OK. And you don't have to worry about saving it. <clears throat> okay. I have created my own account. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so here we are in our pencil code. Make sure that you create an account. Uh, don't do anything where your username identifies you specifically. Uh, make sure it's a password that you can remember. One good thing to do would be to send your username and password for pencil code to yourself. And you can do that by sending yourself an email and saying, hey, what's up? Here's my username and password for pencil code. And then that way, you have an email in your email that says your username and password for pencil code or you could create a Google Doc in your Google Drive and then that way you will have it. So that's some good tips and tricks for saving a password for your account that you create.